Curry Hector asks, how did you become the popcorn? I got the handle first. All right, so today I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys asked me on Snapchat. I made a post a couple hours ago asking you guys to send in questions and you guys did a good job. If you wanna follow me on Snapchat, there's gonna be a link to all my social media in the description or you can scan this snap code whenever you want. I'm gonna put it right here. But before we answer some questions, I think we should smoke some weed, don't you think? You guys gotta see what I'm smoking on right now. This is the MAC from G Leaf. MAC stands for Miracle Alien Cookies, and I definitely recommend you checking out this strain if you can. The buds are super dense, they have some crazy colors, and the high is fucking nuts. Like, it's it's definitely more potent than the average flower. I really am enjoying the high I'm getting from this one. Gonna be smoking out of my handy dandy cloud straight tube. Got a nice little fatty packed up there. I hope you're smoking with me today. I'm gonna take a bong rip, and then we're gonna get into these questions. Delicious. All right, let's get to the questions. First question from Bradley. He asks, what's your favorite dabs to smoke on? I'm assuming he means like form of concentrate. And I gotta say hash rosin, baby. Specifically this Grape God. You really cannot go wrong with the quality you get from Grape God. The strain is cookies and cream. God, man, like I've been keeping this in my freezer so it stays nice and fresh, but it just looks so beautiful. Jay Ashby 420 asks, what's your most expensive slash headiest piece you own and can we see it? This right here is the headiest piece I own and honestly, I don't know who blew it. It was gifted to me like five years ago by one of my friends. She had no idea who blew it, so I have no idea who blew it. But to me, this is my headiest piece. Just the way that these horns twist and there's this like crazy goblin in the back and this clear glass is actually Lucy. So this glass here, 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 and like on the eyeball will glow pink if there's a UV light on it. I'd assume if I was gonna sell all my glass, I could probably get the most for this one. My current glass collection I have right now, a majority of them are gifts, a couple of them I've bought, but I honestly haven't spent more than like 200 bucks on a piece in a while. Let's take a dab real quick out of it before we move on to the next question. Might as well break into the cookies and cream. All right, I'm gonna try to get you guys a nice little close up here. Not only is it heady as fuck, it's a perfect size for like the nice flavorful hits you want, but it's not too small. All right, you guys, cheers. It's a nice rig, let me tell you. Ooh, and that's why I love hash rosin, man. It really hits you. Like, I am noticeably higher already. No dabs really do the job like hash rosin. Like, I've been loving shatter recently. Like, I've been really telling people, like, I'm all up on my shatter wave, but nothing compares to hash rosin. <coughs> If you follow me on Snapchat, I was saying how much I like Shatter recently. I'm not comparing that to Rosin. In my opinion, Rosin is its own league and then like BHO is its own league. So like when I was saying I love Shatter, I was comparing it to sugar and diamonds and butter. Dude, nothing is better than hash Rosin. This next question comes from Jose. Will you ever do a gravity pong hit on camera? Also, what age do you recommend someone trying weed? I don't know, if that's something you'd want to see, let me know in the comments. I haven't done a gravity box since high school, man, holy shit. If that's something you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments, cause I think that'd be kinda fun. And age for smoking weed, honestly, it's kinda hypocritical, cause I didn't start at this age, but I recommend waiting till you're 18 or so, I recommend waiting till college. That's just my opinion though, I'm not your dad. Uh, don't have to listen to me. Kenyon Levon, you asked a handful of questions, but we're gonna get to them all. He asks, how much money do I spend on weed in a week? Which, I get this question a lot, and honestly, I don't wanna know. I never do the math. I just cut the check and keep smoking, dude. I don't really know, to be honest. Probably a lot, though. Yeah, I smoke a lot of weed, man. He also asks, how are you staying during the quarantine? Games, question mark, working more? Question mark. Honestly, a little mixture of both. I'm doing as much work as I can. I'm trying to create as much content and videos as I can. But I have just been uh, playing games. I've been FaceTiming my girl a lot. She's in Denver, I'm in PA, and we can't see each other right now. So a lot of my day goes to just chatting with her over there. And I've just been trying to keep myself busy, stay sane. I'm a little bit of an introvert, so I'm kind of built for this shit. I don't know if I answered that question. I really just rambled. Blame the rosin. All right, the homie Chance asks, when did you start smoking? The first time I started smoking was summer of 2008. I was 14 years old. Way too young to be smoking in my opinion. Really didn't need to be. I really was just 
hearing so many people around me were doing it. I always have felt older at heart than what I am. And even at 14, I was like seeing my older brother smoke and his friends and the older people who went to the skate park smoke. And I was like, you know what? I really, I really want to try this. And I did and I got into it and I honestly grew a huge passion for it. If you're under 18 smoking weed, you should really uh, reevaluate the situation. And if you're smoking because you love cannabis, that's one thing. But if you're smoking because you love getting high, that is when you can go down a really scary slope. Because honestly, if you're just like doing it to get high, eventually, like if your plug doesn't have weed or you can't get weed or someone offers you something else, you can escalate to something more serious. Now, it's not always that case. And a lot of people I know just smoke weed because they love weed. And I know people that were like me at my age that had that same mindset, but I also knew people that just wanted to like get high and you know, they took perks at the prom and you know, they escalated it. It just wasn't as good for them. So I'm not trying, <laughs> not trying to bring everyone down, but in my opinion, if someone's under 18 smoking weed, they need to reevaluate why they're doing it. When you're like 21, 22, 25, 30, if you just like, if it's just your escape, that's totally fine. Now I use cannabis for multiple reasons, but I do just genuinely love the plant. I love looking at the weed. I love having the most high quality weed. I love staring at it. I, and like, honestly, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're one of those people. Because if you're actually to the point where you're going to like look up weed videos, that's what you love. It's like if someone's looking up videos of cars or basketball on YouTube, that's probably what they're pretty passionate about. And there's nothing wrong with being passionate about weed. I don't know if I have that tone at all, but there's nothing wrong with loving weed, smoking weed, and being passionate about weed, especially when you're over 18. Ike asks, what made you want to become a YouTuber slash weed tuber? Well, I was an Instagrammer slash Snapchatter, and then I was like, I should get on YouTube. And here we are. But if you want me to break it down deeper, I've always had a big passion for making videos and like taking photos and stuff. So I always was like taking pictures of sunsets and just stupid shit on Instagram. And I had like a thousand followers, which like to me I thought was cool, but I was following a couple weed pages and I was following Dope Pajola. And I remember he made a post when he hit like 80,000 followers. And I remember being like, damn, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, Dope Pajola kills it. And like, I'm not on his level, it's not what I'm saying. But I was like, damn, I feel like I could kind of do some weed videos and I could get in that realm and do some stuff. That looks like a lot of fun. And uh, I did and I posted a lot and eventually it grew and it became like my biggest passion of like what I was creating content for. I always was doing something weed related. So shout out to Pajola, he's really paved the way. And honestly, he's kind of part of the reason I got on YouTube too. I saw him doing it and you know, he was, he had inspired me to become an Instagrammer. And I see him killing it on YouTube and I was like, you know what, maybe I should get in that realm too and see what it's like. So hats off to you, Yola. Probably won't see this, but uh, much respect to you, dude. So this person, I'm not gonna include their name because it's a little bit more serious, but they said, real question, do you think if you quit marijuana, would you have a dependency on it? Because I use it for my anxiety and depression and I depend on it just wondering if it's like that for other people. Um, personally, not really. The only way that I have like a dependency on it is if I don't have it, I can't sleep. Like, I'm not a different person. I'm like a little bit more irritable. It's really not a dependency. I feel like if you do yoga every day and then you stop doing yoga, you, you would have trouble sleeping and you'd probably be a little irritable. Yoga is definitely more healthy though, don't get me wrong. But yoga while you're lit is the best for you. Like, have you ever smoked weed and done some yoga? That is so much fun. Board Brendan asks, how tall are you? Six foot, exactly. Literally like right on the dot, six foot. What's your go-to snack and drink while high besides water? Water is my number one drink. If you're like really stoned that I can't go wrong with a good soda, like I could fuck up a root beer and snack. Um, I, you know, I'm gonna hit that candy aisle, dude. Like probably gonna get like a Reese cup. Definitely love some Reese cups. Daddy Bowman asks, <laughs> Daddy. Daddy Bowman asks, what's your favorite piece you own and why is it your favorite? This is definitely my favorite. It's my clout encycler. I think this was made in like 2014. I just really love the function. That drain though. I've shown this a lot of times and it probably sounds like I'm beating a dead horse saying this is my favorite rig, but this is definitely all reliable for me. We're gonna take a dab on her real quick. I'm just gonna drop this little chunk of shatter in there. Cheers again. Oh fuck! <laughs> Actually, there's still a little bit more in there.
man, I just love some shatter. It's not nearly as clean and tasty as some hash rosin, but for the price and for the hit, like you really can't beat it. Jake the Snake asks, do you take tolerance breaks? Not unless it's like mandatory. Like I'd rather just smoke weed. Like I've never really seen the point of a tolerance break. Like. Again, I'm not trying to get ripped when I smoke. Like, I enjoy getting very stoned, don't get me wrong, but I also just love to smoke. I also love to just get high. I don't need to get, like, dumb high where I'm dysfunctional. I actually would prefer not to be. I prefer to be dumb high where I am functional. Cake Bombs asks, have you ever been too high? If so, how'd it go? Um, yeah, definitely been too high before. Uh, 420, three years ago, maybe two. There was a party I was going to at a bar. It was like a 420 party. And I brought a uh, medicated drink with me. And it was from this company called Canades. And I think it was 400 milligrams. I'm not totally sure. But I put it in this like small Sprite and mixed it together and just chugged it. I was so fucking high. I was lit for like a day and a half, honestly. And like I remember like I was in a public fucking space. It was crowded as hell. And I was just having like an anxiety attack the entire time. Like I couldn't really speak. I couldn't do anything. Like I was fucking lit. It was just a bad experience. And then there was this one time, probably when I was like 15, like way too young to be smoking. My buddy just got this new like tree perk beaker bog. So it was, it was basically this, but a beaker. He got it and we he brought it to the skate park in his fucking book bag. So we walked to the woods to go smoke it. We walked like a mile into the woods and nobody can fucking see us post up on this log, had a water bottle ready, loaded up the bong. After like the first two bowls, the dude that had it was like, yo, let's load the next one up with Keef, because he had just gotten a grinder with it. So he loads it up with Keef, we all take our hits. We're chilling there talking for a little bit, and it's one of those times you don't realize how high you are until you stand up. But when I stood up, holy shit, I was so fucking high, I like physically couldn't walk. Like imagine somebody walking with like 100 pound weights on each ankle, like that's how it felt as I'm like, walking back, I was so fucking stoned. Everyone just like walked ahead of me. I remember literally they just were like, all right, like, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure you don't get like attacked by a bear, but like, you're good. And I'm just walking so slow because I was just so fucking high. I couldn't even like process time or anything anymore. Like once I stood up, it just all hit me. I remember like we got back to the park and I'm just sitting there just like giggling my ass off. So fucking baked. Everyone's like fucking with me because they all know I'm super big. And I still remember to this day, like I was like 15 years old and one of the guys that like worked at the skate park looked at me and was like, going down a dark path, Jeff. That like brought my high down because then I like was like all fucking paranoid that like Keith didn't like me anymore. And oh, it was so fucking bad. I was so high. It was just ultimately not a good experience. It probably would have been a fine experience if we just did it like on a couch at somebody's house, but like we were like in the woods, it was a hot day. I became immobilized somehow, like <laughs> it just, it was bad. And that's why I don't take tolerance breaks because I don't want to fucking feel like that. God damn, I have so many more questions. I'm gonna do a couple more, but let me know if you guys want me to make this like a part two because I have so many questions here, I can't physically get to them all right now unless you wanted to see like an hour long video, but I don't think you guys want to see that. Zach Scott asks, do you think having perks in a bong makes a difference? I mean, it makes the hit smoother. I mean, you can smoke a bong with no perk at all. It'll get you high, but it's gonna be a rougher hit. So like a difference in smoothness, yes, but like it's not like it makes the weed better. Sire Benihana asks, how many dabs do you take per day? I'd say somewhere between seven to 10, if you know what I'm saying, no pun intended. Robinito00 asks, who is your weed idol? Wilfred, the pot smoking dog. That is my weed idol, to be honest. He's, he's a fucking G. Smokes weed out of a Gatorade bottle. All right, that's enough cues for the time being. Take a quick bong rip. Oh yeah, loving this Mac. I only got an eighth of it and I really regret it. I really wish I bought more. Mannequin02 asks, how much do you smoke in a day? About two handfuls. Eli asks, who is your favorite glass artist and what has been the best heady piece you've ever hit? The best heady I've ever hit is probably a Robertson glass piece. He makes the giraffes and the animals. My buddy has like eight of them and they're fucking sexy. This is from one of my favorite glass artists. It's Zach P. Really fuck with his stuff. Super fire piece, dude. 
All right, so that's the Q and A, you guys. Let me know if you want to see a part two because I have so many more questions, but I just don't want to make this video too long. I feel like you guys prefer the shorter videos. Click like if you made it this far. You definitely enjoyed the video if you watched the whole thing. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. We got a lot more on the way. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Links to everything is in the description of this video. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeff. Peace.